I think everybody knows about you just like for the Bloods and the Crips. You know? Gangs. Yeah, yeah, gangs, but gangs mainly Bloods general, and Crips. Yeah, mainly Bloods and Crips. But I got a real disdain. Have been on the Bloods and the Crips. Yeah, I got a real disdain for Bloods and Crips. Do you ever feel like you could do more by working with the gangs instead of directly attacking the gangs? No. I actually worked in the community with the gangs. They ain't nowhere. When the when the when the blood children get killed, when the Kaya Stevensons got killed, a 15 year old blood, eight gang, he got killed at an eight grade party. When his mama was short on the burial expenses, the bloods wasn't around to help pay 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 them funeral costs. The bloods wasn't around, so why would I work with them? When, when, I'm, when, when, I'm, when I'm teaching classes, when I'm having backpack supply giveaways, the, why would I work with somebody that's not doing nothing? I didn't mean work with them in a community way. I meant work with them in a way to help them get away from it. Why would I help them get away from it? Why would I help them get away from games? Isn't that what you're trying to do? No, I'm Get trying to I, away from gangs. No, I'm trying to put gang members in jail. I ain't trying to stop gangs. I'm not trying to stop gang banging. Gang banging has its place. Yeah, it's people want to gang bang. And it it's people that don't want to uplift the community. It's some people wake up and live and die to gang bang. That's their choice. I'm with the law. Put them in jail. Get them out the community. So, man, I ain't trying to save the world from gang banging. I'm trying to help create stiffer laws for people who commit crimes in gang banging. I'm trying to show the world that gang bangers are our enemy, and we need to go against them. I'm not trying to get rid of gangs. That's not my mission. I created a youth organization called Helping Young People Excel. I work with children. I don't give a fuck about it. Stopping gang violence? Yeah, I ain't Jesus. Nigga, I ain't trying to be no motherfucking savior. I was a troubled kid, an at-risk kid, right? Single-parent kid, as most black people are. I was a kid that fell to the gang banging bullshit. It's only right that I grow up and work with kids that's in the gang to be against gang. There's nothing positive about gangs, so why would you go work with something that's not positive? Hey, don't you know they'll kill you? Everybody that done tried to work with them and change their mindset have been killed by them. How Nipsey Hussle died. How Raymond Washington died. Raymond Washington died by the Crips. We can go on and on. There are history of the gangs killing everybody that don't go along with their culture. That's why don't nobody in California speak out against gangs. <laughs> Hey, what's up, brother? What's going on with you, man? Nothing much, man. Just, uh, you know, grinding. Same as you. I see you grinding. Out there doing your thing. Yeah, blind man shuffling, man. Blind man shuffling. Yeah, ain't, it, it ain't no instructions to it, man. You just, boom. You just go to popping, and uh, you got to try to maintain the bug. That's it. That's it, man. Just keep it going, bro. Well, we'll get right into it, man. I think the biggest news we got in hip-hop recently is FBG Ducks alleged killers were arrested yesterday. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, man. I actually uh I actually talked to uh, I talked to his mom when, when, when I saw it trending uh, on social media uh, uh, yesterday morning. Uh, I gave Mama Duck a call, man, and, and, and talked to her. Uh, you know, just to uh, you know share share give her, give her a warm embrace. You know, she just lost a brother. Uh, she done lost several children, so uh, I think this can be uh, uh, some rewarding news, uh, you know, for a mother who who, who want answers uh, and, and, and and want justice as well. So yeah, I, I hollered mom yesterday. Okay, and uh, what did you personally think about it when you seen it? What was your first reaction? Oh man, uh, everything that's done in the dark go come to the light. Uh, you know, for for those that know, we 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 hear the. We hear the drops in the song. We hear the clues. We hear the puzzles uh, that these rappers uh, uh, put in their songs. Uh, so it, it, it's not surprisingly 
that the FBI used social media, uh, their own social media posts, uh, and, and the songs that, that, that their friends made or they made uh, to go get an indictment for their arrest. That should be a, a, a clear sign and a clear warning uh, to not just the rappers, homie, but, you know, uh, niggas online talking about what they do, when they do it, and how they do it uh, in the name of their hood. So uh, this was a perfect example. I was surprised when I heard the news because, you know, I, I've been following Chicago for quite a while, and, you know, we've seen, you know, people die and, you know, stuff like this kind of happen, and... It's not very often that somebody actually gets arrested for it. Man, we saw we saw Biggie, we saw Pac, uh, we seen Mo three, we seen King Von. So we we've kind of been seeing a a, a difference uh, in 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 modern day uh, murders of rappers compared to the 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 previous years uh, of the Tupac and Biggie's, right? Uh, here lately, yeah. here lately, we've been seeing. You know, these guys get arrested immediately. Uh, over the last three years, we, we, we've pretty much heard uh, law enforcement come out in the media and, and, and brag about how social media uh, has become the number one uh, law enforcement tool for making arrests and, and solving crimes. So, uh, you know, uh, you would think these guys would be taking heed, but I think... Uh, Ego, uh, uh, ego, man, and 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 that that desire to want to be famous, uh, make these guys sacrifice it all, uh, just for fifteen minutes of fame, uh, and barely a million dollars. Yeah, uh, you said apparently a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that's the rumor going around. Yeah, I think I've seen that rumor, a million dollars. I mean, I guess at one point we'll probably hear about everything. The news will come out and. The trial will happen, and, you know, they didn't really release any actual evidence, you know? I mean, I've seen some of the stuff online they were talking about, but I didn't really feel like it, there's nothing there for a conviction. They must have more they're not releasing publicly yet. Uh, well, when you, when, 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 you, when you think about uh, how high-profile this murder is, uh, they're going to release very little information. When you think about how 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 high profile the 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 defendants are and, and who they're tied to uh, in in this crime, and then when you look at the history of Chicago, they have to kind of keep this somewhat secretive, right, uh, to protect the case. But just put that to the side. This is the United States government, the FBI. They have a 98% conviction rate. And normally when they show up at your door, we don't see many people beat them. So uh, normally they, they dot all their I's and, and, and cross their T's uh, when they come out, you know, champion, we got you. And so uh, uh, I'm going to bet on the government. I've seen a lot of people talking about the 98% conviction rate. You know, I've seen a lot of people mad that, that they were arrested a lot of people happy they were arrested you know man it's just uh well, 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 let, 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 let me just say this who would be mad that that they got arrested right people keep forgetting being gangster uh being a street nigga being street it comes with jail uh gangsters ain't never mad about going to jail it, that that's part that's that's you can't get no stripes you can't you can't get your strike if you don't go to jail. What's the first thing they gonna tell you if you ain't never been to jail? Man, you couldn't have made it on the yard. So gangsters die and go to jail. Gangsters get robbed, gangsters get shot. So when these things happen to somebody that's playing the role of a gangster, then who should be mad or sad? This will come with this. Right? You, you, you see what I'm saying? So Man, if I go out and kill somebody, my people shouldn't be mad that the police arrested me. It shouldn't be fuck the police. I went and killed somebody. If somebody killed me, they should go to jail. No matter what I did, right? It's still right and wrong. 
I think that's what this generation of, of I'm not even going to say young people, I think that's what society is forgetting. There's still a such thing as right and wrong. And we want to be wrong when we choose the gang bang. We want to be wrong when we selling drugs. We want to be wrong when we cheating on our wives, when we cheating on our boyfriends, when we're stealing. We want to be wrong, right? We can't justify that wrong just because we want to be wrong. So if we do wrong, man, I'm wrong. Yeah, man, you wrong. Go do that time. Lay it down. We're going to send you some money. We're going to take care of the kids. But no, I mean, you got to go do that time. It's called paying your dues. It's called being held accountable. How do you feel about people saying that because Duck was a street dude and he probably wouldn't have wanted the police involved, that, you know, they wanted it to just be handled to the streets? Man, uh, uh. Uh, criminals don't get to decide uh, civility. Criminals don't get to administer justice. Criminals don't get to... If, 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 if I'm a kid at home and you beat up my mother, you beating up my mother, and my mother don't want to call the police, there's some people still affected by you beating my mother. So... Even though Duck may be a street nigga, now just say Duck, if Duck had a live, and Duck know who shot him, he probably wouldn't have told the police who shot him and went and got justice for himself. But if the store cameras caught the people who done it, if a witness at the store across the street saw who done it and got a license plate, now even though Duck may want street justice, the law still has to administer some punishment because we have to de deter crime. We ain't trying to even street scores. So when street people play by street rules, there's still laws that supersede and governs our society. And I don't want my mother living by street justice. I don't want my children have to adhere to street rules. So as a black community, when white people get shot, they have pretty reasonable ways to handle their conflicts. Why do we as black people have to solve all of our problems, issues, and conflicts with violence and murder? So Doug has a sister. Doug has a brother. Doug has a grandmother. Doug has an aunt. Doug has cousins. Doug has uncles. They are affected by his laws. And by the way, Duck was a young kid with an undeveloped brain. So his decision making is not logical and it's not reasonable no way. And plus, he come from a condition of poverty. So we can't trust the judgment of those people that's coming out the streets no way. They don't normally wake up till they 30 or 40 anyway. So we can't pay them no mind. They just need to go to jail and keep going to jail and, and, and picking up the Bible or the Quran until they get 35. Speaking of uh, the BDs and that whole Chicago area, you know, in the past you've had some things to say about Little Dirk. I believe you've called him the agent of darkness. Yeah, a lot of lot of death surrounding that kid. Uh, where, where, wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, the what what People aren't dying around the light. Grandmama and them dying around the light, but when Grandmama dying, she 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 she's in a, in a in a comfortable environment. She got the grandkids around. She's probably in her house that she paid for. She get to say her goodbyes. She leaving a will behind. Grandmama get to die in in comfort. We get to see them exit at ease. Who want to die like they die? Like, who want to die like the people dying around dirt? You snatch from your children. Your kid's two years old. They will never have a memory of you. Who want to die like that? No, man. So it, it, it's not, I, I'm not, and, 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 and I probably never said this publicly, homie, so you, you're getting some, some raw shit. It, it's not that I'm attacking the individual. 
I don't know the people. I don't know whatever their real name is. That's who he is as a person. We know him as an artist. He come out of artist role. Whenever the camera go off, whenever he get back on his on his in his sprinter van with just his core members of his management team, that's not Lil Durk. So I'm attacking and assassinating the image that Lil Durk is to our people. I'm not attacking that man. The past year has been quite a roller coaster for him. You know, I mean. His brother was killed. King Vaughn was killed. I think somebody else close to him yep. was also killed. But at the same time, he's like one of the biggest artists, not even just rappers, like one of the biggest artists in the country. Robin Williams killed himself, and he was one of the biggest comedians in the world. Yep, I remember that. Same fortune does not fill the void on the inside. Fame and fortune does not take away the pain. Didn't you see DMX fall to his addiction? Oh, when you reach the levels of fame and success, uh, your demons don't go away. Uh, your, your, your childhood issues don't automatically just become resolved that you've been struggling with all your life. Uh, whatever trauma that you've gone through through life, it just don't disappear. So, you know, the money typically ma magnifies the habits, the addiction. So, a, a lot of times when they reach that level of success, man, they still be chasing the void that we don't know anything about until they biopic come out. Uh, Akon came out recently and said that rich people have way more problems than poor people. So uh, even though he's the, the, the biggest rap artist uh, in the country, to him, he's just himself. And, and let me break that down for you, right? When you're on the shitter, your fans ain't in there with you. When it's just you on the shitter, it's you, your mind, God, whatever problems you having. Uh, when you lay down at night to go to sleep, your, your fans aren't with you. So you thinking about your brother, you thinking about Bone. It's easy to smile and perform when the music on. Man, I'm out there 45 minutes at the most probably at a concert. An artist is probably out there hour tops. What about when the lights go out? So that's when a lot of the problems occur, but we don't get to see that part of, of, of these entertainers, these, these people. Uh, we just embrace the character that they give us and, and, and we enjoy the character, and we never try to figure out the, the man behind the mask. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, man. It is entertainment at the end of the day. You know, they got to put on a show. They got to get out there. You know, like you said, a lot of the times, until the biopic comes out, we don't really get to know the deep, what they went through, their struggle. I, I think it's a little a little more available now, you know, with the Internet. Yeah. You know, people get to see things, then people do interviews, they get to know people a little bit better. But but let, let me let me let, let me just say this. Uh and, and, and this is just to uh to to make note of something. You throughout all that done happened to, to Dirk over the last year, it, it's two things that he's done that tells me he's growing, he's he's evolving, he's changing. He came out and publicly said that he won't be dissing no more body, be talking about smoking Tuca no more. He made a public statement and said, I won't be doing that no more. Secondly, matter of fact, it's three things. Secondly, he came out and I think he said he's going to get married or something. He's going to try to be a family man. So he came out and made a public statement. And then thirdly, here recently, he just said he's going to go back and get his high school diploma. So... His tune is changing. You, 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 so that come with, with maturity, homie. That come with growing up. Uh, if, 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 if Martin Luther King would have died at, at, at age 25, uh, he just would have been a, a Southern Baptist preacher that none of us would have heard about. 
If, if Malcolm would have died at 25, he would have been a prisoner, inmate, a street thug. Tupac died a street thug at 25. They didn't get to grow. They didn't get to evolve. So hopefully, man, uh, we get to watch him grow and continue to evolve. Uh, and we don't bury another one. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, man. I've heard a lot of people worried about his safety, especially after recently he had that attempted home invasion Yeah, where I'm assuming they went there to kill him. And shout out to his woman. She shot it out with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was great news to her. Yeah, I love homeowners protecting their home legally. Yeah, you know, from what we know, everything was legal and... You know, when somebody's willing to come in your home and you live in a gated community, you know, they, from what we've been told, they went through a field to get to his house. Well, well, well let's, let's, let's just be honest, homie. Uh, he, he, he's, he's, in a, he's in an organization. He's in a, he's in a group. We just go say a group. We won't say a gang. And, 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 and so, sometimes these groups of mafias, uh, cartels, so anytime you're in a group, you leave yourself vulnerable. You leave yourself and your family vulnerable to the people in the groups. Because there's going to always be some discord in the group. There's going to always be some envy and jealousy in the group. And, and in every group, there's a Judas. In every group, there's a Judas. We just don't get to pick Judas. Jesus got to pick his Judas. If you believe the story, we don't get to pick our Judas. So until we learn, fuck the groups. Fuck the groups. Man, when we go back and look at all the movies, we can go to Paid in Full. We can go to uh, Godfather. Man, we can go to all the gangster movies. Everybody in the groups cross one another. It ain't been a group yet that ain't done it. BML, uh, the Gravano family, it ain't been a group yet that hadn't crossed each other. So there's no honor amongst thieves. So if I'm a legit man and I'm straight up square, all the way square, but my engagement and my interactions are with street people. At some point, they coming in my house. 